All right, welcome back to the show. And that was a, a brief about uh, Matthew Kuka, who is the current bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Sokoto. Sokoto. Yeah. And um, today is his birthday. We are celebrating him. He's also a uh, man who is all about, uh, we're talking about um, Nigerian politics. And it's, you know, you will not really find um, someone who is in the religious space, probably in because politics, yeah. they don't like to be partisan. They just like to be. Yeah, you but I think the, the game, the rule has changed now because ah. now people, no, but you hear it every time they say, if we are preachers, be part of it. Remember the role R&D for the king of boys? Ah, well. <laughs> that reminds me so well, much. Well, well. <laughs> if you watch, you know, you know. You know, mm. you know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> let's just, you, you know, putting up how politics plays out in films. Yes, it, it, but of course, it, yeah. we celebrate him and wish him many more years. Uh, Happy ahead. birthday. And we still have our guest who has been giving us an amazing story. If I'm following your life from the beginning, it's like you came to give us a, a rundown, a rundown of, everything of everything that happened <laughs> when you started till now. Till but now. I think we're moving into tech and agriculture. And agriculture. How do you balance it? Music and farming. Well, oh, I only try my best to balance everything together mm. because oh, both of them are what i'm passionate about mm. so and most importantly now uh i'm into pig farming mm. yeah and bringing innovation and uh bringing automation into it is what is more paramount to me now mm. in fact uh what i'm advocating for is how the industry will be uh booming beyond what it is and what they know about it you know uh is a special agric area that many don't really look at the profitability side of it of pigry yes pigry farming? yes okay. yes yes they mm -hmm. don't really look at the profitability of it because of the uh let me say the religion quote so to say mm -hmm. about it and mm -hmm. what they don't know is that is an industry that nigeria needs to open their eyes into because there's a lot of byproduct from bigwe that is useful to our day-to-day -day activities. For example, we used to brush, okay. and it's from their the, skin. The, the, yeah, their skin. Wow. And, I didn't know that. And your, that your, 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 the makeup you wear, and so many other things, a whole lot of things from... I, from I, I, but, I mean, you talked about the technology, bringing auto um, technology yes, into yes, pig yes. farming. Because I, I know that pig farming is a whole lot of... It's the, one of the easiest um, sectors, yeah. right? But it's still very tasking. Yes, yes. So how do you think technology can, what kind of technology do you think can be infused to make the entire process be easier yes. and better? Yes, the, the kind of technology that can make the entire process better and easier is uh, you, you can have a pen, a pen that can occupy about 5,000 pigs, mm. and you can have a staff or two staff to manage, manage them. That, yeah. And in the sense that, okay, you put everything into automation. You have your silo where you store your food mm. and you have your auger, the feeder, that will convey the feed from the silo into the pig pen house to the extent that your staff do not need to enter into that place. So they will have their feed, by, they will eat by themselves. Mm, yeah. And also we have what we call automated nipple, nipple drinker. And that nipple drinker is embedded to the wall. So all you just need to do is to make sure that there is enough water in your over end tank and the pigs, nice. they are intelligent to the extent that they will go there, they will suck it and drink the water. And also in production, for example, we have AI, that's AI, artificial insemination now, yeah. which can be introduced into pigry. You don't need to struggle yourself to carry a male to go and meet uh, the female. There is a way you can do right. AI and so many other things. So right. technologies has really improved agriculture in a bigger way than the old way that our forefather they used to do it. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. So how do you now manage the um, sunburn that they experience? Because I know pigs uh, experience. I'm sorry, you're talking about pigs so farming. You didn't mention that in terms of how technology can help with that because I know that when they put their pool of water for them to drink, apart from the fact that you now say they are nipple drinkers, um, they like to roll themselves inside the water you see technology, so how do they now cool up because that's the way the technology has taken care of that uh, you know for example now if you have a building like this there's what we call temperature control oh, to the okay. extent to the extent that 
when there is a uh, fire or anything, the okay. pipe wire will just bring water. Okay. Okay. So there is a shower that okay. is being well. taken care of with temperature now. Oh, these that's things. so amazing. That's I mean, we, we should have really started out with this and then gone into <laughs> music. <laughs> music, because you are a real like farmer at heart. So it was really, really nice talking to you, really just breaking down your journey and of course yeah. giving us insight into how you run your business, of course, because it's also Tech Tuesday and of course people I'm sure have learned so much. And like we said, we'll be bringing you all the amazing details regarding MBGN step by step because we're just in a month. Today's the last day in the month of August and mm -hmm. of course, yeah, September is tomorrow. Awesome. And me, I'm excited because my birthday is in September. So, September 21st. Hey, so, hey, all of you, you've heard the hey, date, so you better start sending hey, all your sweet admirers. The, you can just send all the <laughs> gifts. And I, the gifts I'm taking is lunch, yeah. from lunch upwards. Yeah, That's you can send cards. Those that want to send you bouquet of flowers. Uh, okay, send flower. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you will wake me. I like, ah. And today also makes one year, silver birthday. Yes, silver birthday. It's one year yes. since we started and we rebranded we and we're here. <laughs> and we're having a great Super show exciting. tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to have everyone here. Bridget's going to be here. Quincy's going to be here. I'm going to be here. <laughs> Chinke, if you're watching, you're going to be here. Everybody <laughs> Everyone is here. going to be here. Okay, so the word of the day says life is not a problem to be solved, but, real but a reality to be experienced. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be, be experienced. Soren, care God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... Um, I think on this note, we say our goodbyes. Thank yes, you so much, Femi, for coming yeah, on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. To have mm -hmm. insightful conversations. Mm. I enjoyed it. Mm. You know, I learned extra things. I remembered some things and I learned more. <laughs> what, what, let me ask before we go, I was rushing off. What do you think of the word of the day? Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. Hmm. Hmm. Deep what thinker. a word. Hmm. What a word. Yes, <laughs> life is really not a problem to be solved because... Why you are trying to solve the life problem? You can't. You can't even solve it. You can't even solve it. You need to experience mm. it. Mm. And while experiencing it, that is when you will learn the life experience. Hmm. Thank Hashtag you. wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. Hey, <laughs> from Femi, what's up, Olabi? Olabi. Thank you so much for that. And on that note, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Please do have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.